Hello folks all over the world, I was looking at a compilation of ghost jokes, and I remembered that security guard inside the hotel, who is haunted by the ghost of a drug addict. So, welcome back to It's Simon Investigation Part 2, the second episode dedicated to the content creator named Simon Lockhart and his channel TikTok It's Simon. Simon's channel has reached 250,000 followers and Simon has decided to celebrate by making a video like fashion show, I didn't quite understand what it has to do with the theme, but maybe, we'll see later. For those who have not seen the first part, Simon is a guy who claims to be haunted during his shifts in a hotel by a ghost and therefore decided to open a channel to show his users what happens. As usual, before starting we remind you that we are also Simon followers, we like his work and we hope that he continues to post content. What you are about to see instead is a detached analysis on the contents to distinguish the real from the entertainment. If you like this kind of investigations don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to stay updated. Let's start. I was recording for 30 minutes. Nothing happened. Until. Hello? Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bro. Bro. Holy shit. No, 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 no. In this video Simon climbs the stairs, declaring that he has been filming for half an hour now, but nothing happens. What should happen? Then Simon hears footsteps climbing the stairs, turns, greets to see if he gets an answer, and what does he do? Escape. Yes, run away. A security guard should go down the stairs to see who did it, perhaps with the gun in his hand at that time of night. Surely a thief does not respond to the greeting with, hey hi it's me, don't worry I'm not a ghost. Like any self-respecting haunted place, you must also have a dark shadow. Then Simon, in this new part number 11, takes footage number 10 and slows it down to show that a shadow was watching him through the glass of the security door. Obviously there is no shadow, not even a person, it is a still image probably attached to adhesive tape behind the glass of the door, in fact it does not move at all during the shooting. So I'm in the bathroom right now and I'm like playing knock knock with this thing. Two knocks if you're a good ghost. A good spirit. As described in the previous episode, this ghost is in dire need of the bathroom. In part number 12, in fact, we find Simon, locked inside the bathroom. The ghost knocks, probably to find out if the bathroom is free, and Simon tries to talk to him to find out if he is a good ghost or not. The ghost, however, becomes impatient and gives a strong blow to the door. Simon goes out to see who did it. Now we are calmer, the bathroom is free and the ghost can evacuate. This video also shows no evidence of hauntings. Today there are several tools for carrying out paranormal investigations. To mention the most famous, we start from the electromagnetic field detector, also called K2, the spirit box or the SLS camera, also called Kinect, that tracks human movements and maps them on the screen. I got this holy water off Amazon. 
I'm gonna drop it down the stairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, what the Bro, this is not anymore, dude. Also in video 13 the approach is not quite as a hotel security guard. We see Simon pouring holy water into the stairwell. It is not clear what the intent is, since the ghost is as good as we saw in the previous video, so what good would the holy water be? Anyway, three blows are heard on the safety door on the ground floor. Probably it was a thief trying to get inside. Or an accomplice who has been asked to collaborate to increase views on the TikTok channel. Okay, I decided to use this holy water on my uh, sanctuary. This is where I chill. Spread it all over the floor. Oh my god! That, no, that did not just happen. Bro, can you please get out of this room, okay? Please get out. Please? This guy doesn't even know what just happened. In the video part 14 we are in what looks like a meeting room, with some water bottles on the tables. Simon throws holy water in this place as well, and a bottle is seen moving by itself on the table and falling to the ground. With an excellent fishing line and two stops or levers that keep the motion of the bottle straight, it is possible to make the bottle also complete the Monte Carlo circuit in the Principality of Monaco. Here too we see no actual evidence of paranormal activity in the place. I was just doing my rounds and then I heard this. Hold up. Oh my god. In part 15 we are again in the dark and while Simon says he is on duty at work, knocks are heard from this locked room. He throws holy water on the door and his flashlight begins to hurl itself at Simon who runs away in fear. Instead, what you see in the video is a perfectly closed room, shots that come from an unspecified place, more likely from behind the camera or out of its reach, and then the pile falling to the ground, all elementary to make. What do you think? Dear friends the second part of the investigation on the TikTok It's Simon channel ends here, for now as you have seen there is no valid testimony on the presence of ghosts or evil spirits in this hotel, Oh yes, I almost forgot here is the video following the celebrations for reaching 250,000 followers, I hope you are not having lunch or dinner at this time, viewing is not recommended for non-adult audiences. I was joking, of course. In the next episode we will always see Simon in the guise of priest throwing holy water at a box that appears to be moving by itself. Thank you for watching the video and I give you an appointment at the next episode. If you are new and have not yet subscribed but you like the contents on the investigations we do, press the like and the subscribe button together with the bell to stay updated on new releases and remember, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe, don't believe everything, ask, analyze, and you will solve.